if they don't have it and while I'm yelling at them, um, you know, here are some options that you can look at. Um, so contact management, manage your lists, you know, your contact list of voters. Um, they generally do email blasts and they generally offer a number of different, um, you know, kind of organizing tools. Uh, to start off, we've got Action Network. Um, I put Action Network up at the top because it is the most affordable um, and user-friendly of the options that I've, I'm presenting right now. Um, Action Network's a CRM engagement tool, and it focuses on progressive groups. Um, right now, the Illinois Green Party and the New Jersey Green Party both use it, and I'm sure there are other Green Parties in the country that are using it as well. It can do database management. It can do email marketing. It handles your fundraising. It handles events. It's got action tools like petitions. Um, it's got the ability to let you have uh, they call them letter writing campaigns, but it's basically an automated system where your supporters can send, can lock, can do digital lobbying and send template emails to, um, you know, elector, elected officials or other targeted uh, influencers and decision makers. Um, you might be able to squeeze by as a campaign on Action Network using the free plan. Um, but gen and they offer they also offer campaign pages, which you might be able to set, you know have be a weak substitution for a website. Um, but generally, you know, you want a full website. And one of the great things about Action Network is that it can integrate well with WordPress, um, which is a user friendly and probably the largest web platform out there. Um, it's what's used in Illinois and in New Jersey that I know of, um, as well as a number of other states. Uh, but I just know those two from working with Action Network. Um, and that allows you to embed these tools, the petitions and things like that into your website. They're easily donation forms, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, so free, there's a free version. You don't get a bulk up list, upload list. Um, so you have to manually upload all of your, input all of your, your uh, supporters. You can send 10,000 emails a month for free. Um, you have some limitations in the tools, some limitations in your integrations. Uh, for $10 a month, you can send from 10,000 to 1 million emails. Uh, you're, it won't just stay at 10. You'll fluctuate a little. Uh, you'll, your price will fluctuate based on your email capacity when you start sending huge, num large numbers of emails. Um, but that gets you way more tools, custom stylizing, and uh, some automation stuff. And then, and that that'll be probably more than any campaign needs, right? That's all most campaigns need. Um, but when I talk to parties, I talk to parties about the $100 a month option, uh, which gives you 50,000 to, to a million emails. And um, what, it, what it allows is group hierarchies. So we can have the Illinois Green Party with a list, and then we can have the, the Cook County Green Party, the Sangamo Green Party, the DuPage Green Party, the Jackson County Green Party as children underneath, and they all share their data upward, right? So, um, that's an ideal setup for a party, um, but for most campaigns or short-term issue groups, um, you know that that, that ten dollar a month is going to be more than you need. Is going to be all that you need. And like I said, that price will go up if you start sending more emails. But you probably get to send at least the first ten thousand um, without any increase. So that's a lot of emails uh, if you're if you're running a local campaign and. Um, you know, would be more than enough, and ten dollars a month is a very affordable uh, rate for this. You know, all the tools that you get out of this system. Next up is Nation Builder. Uh, Nation Builder is a CRM that boasts itself as an all-in-one tool. Uh, it's the most common CRM in the Green Party, I would guess, uh, largely because the you know Greens, including the National Party, were sold on it being this amazing all-in. One tool. We didn't need website hosts. We didn't need things about uh, these other systems that we were stacking to get our full service. Um, you know, it does list management, it does email marketing, it does fundraising, it's got events and action tools, and it, and it, it does full it does full on websites. So it can host your website as well. With Action Network, you're going to need another an outside website that you connect to the, all your actions to. Um, so there's a second piece. So can action, to make Action Network and Nation Builder do the same work, uh, you need two pieces, Action Network and a website stacked next to just Nation Builder. 
So that's what got a lot of Greens using it. Uh, the problem is it very much uh, lives up to the saying, jack of all trades, master of none, right? Um, first and foremost, Nation Builder was built as a database. Um, so it is a very powerful contact management database. Uh, and to be honest, most Greens don't use it to the point that they're taking advantage of how powerful it is. Um, we're just using it as a glorified spreadsheet. There's not a lot of data management. And because of that, um, you know, you need to, uh, because of that, we're basically, we're overpaying because we're not using the services that we're, we're paying for. Um, so like, and so it's a, first and foremost, it works in databases. Um, you know, it's web tools are, lacking if I'm being kind and absolutely horrible if I'm being honest. Um, it is not a user-friendly way to build a website. It is not an aesthetically pleasing way to build a website. And they use their own conventions. Um, they did not stick with a lot of industry standards and there are a lot of things in there that you'd only do if you're using Nation Builder, which as you know, a long time web developer is very frustrating when you try to use it. Um, but it's the most popular one in the party, right? So. Um, it's very commonly used um, in, in, as, a, as a campaign when you go, when you approach your party, like I said, the first thing you should do is be approaching the party about uh, endorsement and about resources. Oh, you may find that they have a Nation Builder account and then, you know, now you're on Nation Builder and all this is solved for you. Um, if you don't, if your party doesn't have it, uh, Nation Builder plan started about $30 a month for 500 contacts. And then it scales. Um, it's generally based on contacts, uh, what your price is, but, um, and they, they allow you to send unlimited emails to those contacts, but they cap you with how many people can be in your in your account, um, which is bad for things like voter lists, right? It's not good, it's not easy to load a voter. It's not cheap to load a whole voter list into Nation Builder. It's prohibitively expensive. Um, so, like in Illinois, we have voter lists, but they are not in Nation Builder. They can't. They could never be in Nation Builder when we had it. Uh, because it would be just astronomically expensive to put 8 million people into our list. Um, so you're generally based on the number of people on your list, uh, but there's some stuff with their plans where like you're limited in websites until you upgrade to the next tier. Um, so Nation Builder, the most common but very expensive in Illinois, we are shutting it off uh, in five days. Uh, and the reason behind that is when you're spending over $300 a month on this thing, we're moving to Action Network, we're spending 100 Um The last one is Civi CRM. Uh, Civi CRM is open source and free. Um, Greens really like to talk about Civi CRM, but the reality is, is it's not user friendly. And it's the, that free has an asterisk, right? That free requires you to have hosting, requires you to have the skill or pay for the skill to maintain and develop uh, more tools into uh, your city CRM. So because it's open source, you could develop almost anything you want, right? And Action Network is also the same. You can pay them a little extra money and they'll develop things for you, or you can get into their API and you can develop them on your own. Um, but city CRM really requires tech savvy people, uh, tech savvy team members that can develop, deploy, and maintain it. And to be honest, the level of work for city CRM for short-term political campaign probably isn't worth it. Um, when I give this talk, when I talk focused on parties, I always end talk this area talking about city CRM and how long-term I think the Green Party uh, needs to channel collective resources and develop civi a city CRM database that is a green, uh, you know, a, built and made for us and for our purposes and made available down from the national party down through locals and campaigns um, that is a green answer to the van which is the democrats uh, crm um, things like constant contact and mailchimp can fill this role um, you know if you're running a small race a small local local race you can probably get by with the constant contact list and not get into all this crm stuff um, but the, like I said, they'll, they'll do it poorly. Um, you'll be able to send email contacts, you'll be able to collect you know, uh, new contacts and get out to them, um, but you won't get a lot of the tools that you need. And the last thing I'm gonna say on this is, uh, you know, especially potential candidates that float in, progressives, in the progressive sphere, um, you don't wanna be using the van 
If you're an independent campaign, if you're a green campaign, you don't want to be using the NGP van. Uh, the NGP van is the Democratic Party's controlled CRM. So I, I know a lot of people in 2016 who, you know, backed Bernie from the independent left and then were mad that they were getting emails from Hillary. Well, the reason you're getting emails from Hillary is because the van is owned, is controlled by the Democrats. When you use the van, you agree that all of your data floats upwards, right? So everybody who donated to Bernie, everyone who volunteered for Bernie, all of their information. Once, you know, once Bernie dropped out, went straight up into the DNC's, you know, master database and was handed off to other candidates. Um, and now those same people are getting messages for years about it. So you want to stay away from the van uh, when it comes to contact management. Um, 